A high-frequency linear array transducer with a nerve exam type is used to perform a transverse abdominus plane block, more commonly known as the tap block. The patient should be placed in the supine position. The ultrasound transducer is placed in the mid-axillary transverse plane between the anterior superior iliac crest and the costal margin. The three muscle layers of the abdominal wall are easily visualized in this plane. The most superficial layer seen is the adipose tissue, which is the most variable layer in terms of thickness. The first muscle layer seen below the adipose tissue is the external oblique muscle that is divided by fascia from the deeper internal oblique muscle. The fascia can be identified as a hyperechoic thin white line on the ultrasound image. The internal oblique muscle is commonly the thickest of the three muscle layers and separates the external oblique and transversus abdominis muscles. Deep to the internal oblique muscle is the second fascial layer that separates the internal oblique and the transversus abdominis muscles. The deepest hyperechoic line in the ultrasound image is the abdominal peritoneum and the peritoneal cavity below. It is common to see loops of bowel in cross-section in peristalsis in the abdomen. The target for needle tip placement is deep to the fascia that separates the internal oblique and the transversus abdominis muscles on the anterior surface of the transversus muscle. The terminal branches of the nerve roots of T7 to L1 lie on the belly of the transversus muscle, and when local anesthetic is deposited here, analgesia of the abdominal wall is accomplished and the tap block is successful. After identification of the abdominal wall landmarks, a needle is inserted at a 45-degree angle in plane 1 centimeter from the superior aspect of the ultrasound probe. The direction of the needle is an anterior to posterior approach into the abdominal wall toward the spine. It is very common to feel a pop as you pass through the two fascial layers between the three muscles that comprise the abdominal wall in the mid-axillary location. Once the needle tip is deep to the fascia, separating the internal oblique from the transversus abdominis muscle, local anesthetic is injected. When the local anesthetic is injected in the appropriate plane, a pool of hypoechoic fluid will be seen below the fascia and will separate the belly of the transversus abdominis muscle from the fascia. As the local anesthetic accumulates, the transversus abdominis muscle will be pushed deeper into the abdomen, confirming correct needle placement.